racing. That's Ken Butler the third, the 22 on the outside. Oh, Gabby DiCarlo Carlo and Brian Scott had problems right in front of him. We see the car turned around. That's a seven of Kyle Chrysalov. He was running second before he got spun around. Oh, and problems continuing on the racetrack. Yeah, that's Brian Silas right there. Some hard contact. Okay, will you tell me again if my glass is half full or half empty? <laughs> I think I'm going to go with half empty on that, Ken. Yeah. Justin Algar is spun out right down here, right just before the start finish line in the 16 car. That, is that Mario Goslin's car right there, the onboard camera? There's Scott, Scott Speed. Speed. Look at all the damage to that Red Bull Toyota. Started second in this race, and he will end with 50 laps of racing to go after only 30 laps of racing. Scott Speed's day is over. Kyle Krisiloff climbing out of his car. Now, we saw him sideways, and again, he was running second. We're going to be taking another look and, and see if there was something that took place that got him turned around. Brian Silas also involved in this one. You see the number 11 coming off the wall under his own power, but so much damage to that car, he won't make it back out. Yeah, very, very difficult. Getting a report that the ARCA REMAX officials are going to red flag this race to give them ample opportunity to clean up the race track. They're going to stop the field over there somewhere off to do a little damage to Justin Marks rear his car. Now, Justin Marks was running third, and if Kyle Krisloff didn't maybe get sideways or something, someone could have not, I mean, not been able to check up and got into the back. So just for a second, the 46 car of Matt Carter, who may have been running behind him, he had some damage to the right front corner. So more than likely, that right front corner got into of the Matt back Carter's of got into the left rear right. of the uh, Justin Marks car, the 65 car. Let's take another look at what took place. We saw, right, we saw Gabby DiCarlo getting a little bit loose here. He had the 75 of Brian Scott behind her. And then we saw the smoke up ahead of these guys. And then they all try to take some evasive action. The 75 of Brian Scott turns around. He collects, looked like the four car, Taylor Malsom. There's the 39, the 09, the 44, Frank Kimmel sliding through the infield. There's the seven. We see him checked up way back there. And we believe he had a lot to do with what took place behind him. Yeah, a lot of damage to Mario Goslin's car. Here's another view. This is a little bit closer to the front. You saw just left of your screen was the two of Scott Speed. We know he got considerable damage in this incident. There's a little bit of contact between Brian Scott, and then he made a little contact with that 32 car. They got That's Dominic around. Casola. There's T Taylor Malsom got into the 75 of Brian Scott. And everyone checking up not only because of what was going on with Brian Scott, but also the front of the field. And here's a good look at now the seven. Again, the seven moves up the racetrack and then tries to come back down, but there wasn't room. It just comes back down, and Justin Marks had already committed to that part of the racetrack, and this, then he slid back up the racetrack, caught the two of Scott Speed. There's another view. Watch, he's going to come back down and try to get in that hole that's not there. Then you see Matt yep. Carter runs in the back of the 65 of Justin Marks. Bobby Garrett does a great job. Michael Annette does a great job avoiding this. And everybody else, it seems like, is involved. Frank Kimmel, he, that white car spinning down through the middle of the racetrack. He spins in between two or three cars. Here comes Ricky Stenhouse right at his front end. He's, Frank's going to slide out of the way of him. Just havoc all over the racetrack. Seems like we always talk about the big one when we talk about restrictor plate racing. And this one... This one started at the front and at the middle almost simultaneously. Matt Carter did a real good job there. Yeah, he really did, yeah. Even though he made contact with Justin Marks, it could have been a whole lot worse. And then you could see those guys get back in the throttle to get, to get by before Kyle Krisloff came back up the racetrack. Be some hard hitting there. That's Mario Goslin in the 21 that we saw. And then you saw Scott Speed running along the top there. Another, another contact Ooh. there and a very big hit. That's a pretty tough camera, by the way, too. Yeah, 72 of Dwayne Bryant was in that initially. There's a 30 of Terry Jones coming towards the back of Mario Goslin's car. Now, here's Frank Kimball. This is going to be an interesting ride. He sees the smoke. He's off the throttle. Car sliding in front of him. Brian Scott comes back up the racetrack. He avoids it, but does get tagged just a bit. I think Frank is going to have minimal damage, so he's going to... You know, he was riding around with the tail end of this pack, and he's going to emerge with some uh, some good fortune for sure. There's Brian Silas right here, his onboard camera. He's right behind Patrick Sheltra. He's trying to get slowed down. Now cars cleaning off the bank. 
Ooh, Ooh, this one. There was the contact yeah. with Mario Goslin again. Emerged from the smoke, and then Mario Goslin was right there, unfortunately. There's cars right in front of them, still, still crashing, and then got contact again, and then more damage. And silence. Yeah. Red flag has come back out here at Daytona.